How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Destiny 2 beta. Um, now, uh, this is probably going to go up once, like, after the beta is done. So sorry if you're like, hey, I want to go check that out. It's probably going to be over by the time this video is up. Uh, so sorry about that. But you can still check this out, and it'll kind of give you an idea of uh, what the beta was like and what the full game will be probably be like um if you if you're unsure whether or not you're gonna buy destiny 2 um i i want to do this just mainly because um i i wanted to kind of a get a feel for what destiny 2 was going to be like and uh like i mean i i already want to play it but i just i want to get a good feel for it i want to see what they're doing with it what i want to see what's been changed um, from the first game, and it'll be interesting also to see if anything differs between the beta and the full game. So we're gonna we're gonna check that out, and I'm just gonna kind of give my thoughts um, on that. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I'm, I play Warlock. That's just what I played in the first one. So I'm gonna play in this one. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> First thing, um, uh, I'm just gonna talk over this because if you really want to watch this, it's it was released as a trailer. Um, this is, it's an awesome cutscene, by the way, so I would recommend if you don't want me talking over it, go check it out. Um, but I'm recording this on a Wednesday afternoon, um, and I've said it before. I normally record um, on the weekends. I just do all my recordings for the week on the weekend, and then I put them up throughout the week. Um, and the reason that I'm recording this on a Wednesday is because it, this is just opened up for people who pre-ordered. Um, it's going to open up in a couple of days for everyone else, but like I said, by the time this video is up, it will have already ended. Um, but uh, the the reason that I wanted to do it tonight is because this first mission is not replayable, and it just starts in on this mission. So if I if I just started this without doing a recording of it, uh, I wouldn't be able to get an episode of this first mission and get my reactions to it and get what I'm feeling about it in a video. So I wanted to do that, and that's why I'm recording on a Wednesday. And it's really weird because I just don't record during the week. It's normally the time that I have for editing and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a bummer that you can't, like, replay this. As far as I can tell. Because um, after you finish the mission, you get access to, like, the director menu. And you can pick what activity you want to do. Um, and, uh... Yeah, like, I was watching a friend uh, play this last night, and just couldn't see a way to replay the mission, this mission. Like, you can pick the strike that's available, and you can pick Crucible, but you can't uh, replay this mission at all. So, yeah, I wanted to get uh, an episode of this, so this <laughs> just have to do a weird recording schedule this week, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, and that kind of ties into, like, the first... Um, actually, this next bit I probably won't talk for because... Well, no, they've... They've shown all this. <laughs> uh, and... Whatever. Uh, but, yeah, the not being able to play this first mission over again kind of ties into like my first uh criticism i guess of the beta not the not of the full game i mean this is definitely not anything indicative of the full game um but the beta seems kind of limited and i was a little disappointed to find out that it was a bit limited um definitely more limited than the destiny one beta was um like there's this first mission that you can play, but you can't replay it. 
There's a strike, and then there's the crucible, which I think there's only control that you can play. I'm not sure. Um, but um, yeah, they they didn't add uh, a social space or like the open world patrol area. I don't know why. It seems kind of weird that they wouldn't have those things in the beta, because those areas are going to get a lot of players in the same uh, instance. And that's when you kind of really see how that number of people is going to, like, uh, stress on the servers. And I feel like that's something that they would want to, like, check out and address and make sure that that's going to be fine. So I don't know why they wouldn't have added those things into the beta. It just seems weird to me. Uh, but anyway, we were playing. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay, that's, that's still that. Um, uh, we got some armor. Got a few different weapons. We got an auto rifle, pulse rifle, and a hand cannon. Okay. Um, and then a void pulse rifle, an arc scout rifle, and a... Uh, Solar sidearm, um, arc fusion rifle, and a solar grenade launcher. Okay. Uh, and then Dawnblade, that's the new Warlock subclass, which I'm eager to try out. Uh, and then we also got the Voidwalker. Okay, so they brought back Voidwalker. Uh, let's... Yeah, I guess we're just gonna kind of go through each weapon one by one and see how they feel. Um, because, I mean, one thing that Destiny does, like, really well for, uh, well, not Destiny, uh, Bungie, the people who make Destiny, um, the one, the, one of the things that Bungie does really well with their game, ooh, okay. Hi. Ooh, that feels very nice. Um, they know how to make guns feel good. They 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 always make them very tight and uh, well done, and like the the guns usually feel like they have some weight to it. There's there's um they they feel like a gun. They feel like you think a gun should. Like you think these sci-fi guns should. Um, so it's nice to see at least with this first weapon that that. Uh, has stayed consistent. Um, let's. Whoa! No! 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 That's the wrong button. First off, get that out of there. Okay. Um, let's give another weapon a try. Um, and for those of you who've played uh, the first Destiny, you, you've already noticed that the the weapon loadout is not the same. Like. Um, the, it used to be a primary, a secondary, and then a heavy. Um, and there were certain weapons that would go in each slot. Uh, this, they've changed it so that um, you have a, a slot for kinetic weapons. Then you have a slot for energy-based weapons, which have different um, energy damage on them. Um, and then you got power weapons, which are going to be your... Like, low ammo, but, like, really heavy-hitting um, guns. So, like, the the fusion rifle was a was a secondary in the first game, but they uh, put that into the power weapon slot, and now they've added grenade launchers, uh, so it'll be interesting to see how those work. I'm sure they are going to be uh, pretty fun. Um, and uh, another thing that I've also noticed. Um, oh, hi, Cade. Uh, cool. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. Awesome. Cool. See ya, I guess. Um, I lost what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, so. Um, they. Oh, it's Shex. Cool. Awesome. Oh fuck yeah, Shex. I will 
definitely do that. Oh, we're getting more shit. Uh, fucking exotic. They just gave an exotic right off the bat. Um, I, I want to say something, but... Oh, it's a submachine gun. New, new type of weapon that they added for this one. Um, I haven't checked that out yet, so I want to check that out and then, um... Uh, well, let's, yeah, we're just gonna go through these three first, and then we'll check out these, and then we'll probably find a, a point in which, uh, the power weapons will come into play. What I was trying to say, um, and I just noticed that for some reason they, um, are now on a cooldown for some reason. Uh, but you get the, the powers down in the lower left corner there, the abilities, um, and the, the, the first square that's okay that finished cooling down uh that is um that is a grenade if you remember from the first game pulse rifle feels pretty decent um then the second one is the the melee ability and then they added a third ability um for each uh class so uh for the warlocks it's kind of like an area effect that you plunk down that uh, I guess buffs you and your teammates I haven't used it yet so I'm I, uh, just based on the description that I got I read of it that's what it, I kind of got from that um, and I know that the uh, the hunter uh, ooh, 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 okay the hunter has uh, the dodge ability on there and then titans have like uh i think it's like a, a shield kind of thing um i'm not sure uh yeah this pulse rifle feels feels all right for what i'm assuming is a fairly boo gay beginner pulse rifle um Let's check out this fusion rifle on this guy. He's got okay. Yeah, that's that's what I want to see. There we go. I like that. That is nice. All right, let's toss a grenade in. What do we got for grenade? Uh, okay, it's kind of basically the uh, solar grenade. I can dig it. Alright, let's fuck you up with this. Boom. And... Ha! Okay. Melee ability seems similar to Destiny 1. Fine. Damn it. Shield came back. Um... I... I... I yeah, I'm... I, I need a I need a good chance to try out the third ability. Uh, yeah, look at the size of that thing. Let's try out this hand cannon. Um. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. Like that. That's good. That's very good. That that feels nice. That really feels nice. Uh, I want to throw a grenade in there, though. That didn't go as far as I wanted it to, so fuck me. <laughs> um, okay, so... Plus, guns feel nice. At least the ones that I've tried so far. Uh, another plus, you probably already could tell, this game is absolutely gorgeous like um definitely a step above uh the first destiny um oh hi and i think uh the big reason behind that uh is um they're uh they they don't have to um have the game run on the last gen systems anymore. It's just current gen systems and they don't have to worry about 
the 360 or the PS3 anymore. They can just optimize it for current gen and they don't have to kind of dumb it down, I guess. Uh, the glide feels nice. Hmm. But that is irrelevant. They are attacking the traveler. We must get to it now. Okay. Negative. The traveler can wait. We will protect our people at any cost. Okay. Um, let's give these other weapons a tray. This one was a pulse rifle, I believe. The traveler. What is that thing they're attaching to it? It's a big starfish. Um. So, uh, yeah, I, m I imagine this one is going to feel fairly similar to the other pulse rifle that they gave me. Uh, yeah, it's pretty similar. Uh, still feels nice. I haven't, haven't uh, come across a gun that doesn't feel good. Wow, I just got a giant ball landing on top of me. Cool. Let's respawn. Oh, hi Zavala. How's it going? Let's activate our super. This is probably like um like the coolest super I feel in the game so far. In my opinion, that's like the coolest super in the game so far. Um okay. Let's There's a lot of guys here. Uh how do I activate my third ability? Uh, I don't know. Nope. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know how to activate my third ability. That's how you do it. You gotta hold B. Cool. And I guess... Uh, well, it gives us an overshield, me and this random dude who's hanging around. Eh. Aww. See if I can switch out these weapons real fast. Scout rifle. Let's try the scout rifle. This one should hit pretty hard. Uh, I mean, it doesn't hit as hard as I thought it would, but it uh, it's got really nice rate of fire on it. Uh, let's. Okay, I I want to switch to try out the grenade launcher, but there's a lot of shit going on right now. I do like uh, a fast action scout rifle. That is nice. How long do I have to do this? I know it says, uh, basically have to repel waves. Um, let's try the sidearm out. Oh, okay. Is that it? No, we're still going. Ooh, okay. Definitely a mid-range weapon, because that's that goes all over the place. Definitely kills fast, though. I like that. Sidearms were really good in the first game, too. Oh, God, I love that. That is such a cool super. Yeah, I can't hit shit with that thing at that range. But when they get up close... 
fucks him up. Okay, that hurt. Oh, that's out of ammo. Cool. Are we almost done? Is these like the last guys here? Savala, the last nice. of the shuttles is away. But the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. Oh, the speaker's dead? I've got the plaza. Or Go he's just missing. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. Taking arc damage increases increase weapon power. That's cool, I guess. I need ammo for it though. Wow, alright. Okay, heading this way. I need ammo. You guys you guys drop some ammo. Cool. Okay, goodbye. Jesus. Almost dead. Oh, whoop. There we go. I'm a little bit bummed that I couldn't uh, like customize a character. Um, for this. Oh, that's just sad. That's sad. Robot's trying his best. Trying his best to clean up. Um, where am I going? Because, didn't it? What? What? What am I doing? Does it just want me to kill these dudes? Cause, um... I thought I was trying to go find the speaker. Does it want me to go up there? Did I miss that part of it? No. What am I missing? What? It's telling me to go here, but it's also telling me to go way over here. What the hell? Oh, that door just didn't open before. That's why I was confused. Hey, Ikora! Gone as in dead? Speaker's dead? Like dead, dead? D or, okay, I guess he's just missing. Ah, this feels nice. Very high rate of fire. Uh, probably more mid-range rather than long-range. One thing I know about the enemies in video games, you don't want to be the one carrying around a tank on your back. That thing's gonna get fucked up. This is an awesome gun, and it should be, because it's an exotic. Um, I haven't had to reload with this thing yet, which is really cool. Like, it's like auto-reloading. Ooh, you, you are, um, you're big, big, big guy. Big guy. Have a grenade. Big guy. Thanks. Someone told me you need a ride. I do. I guess. <laughs> Uh. Zavala, 
Picked up that guardian you never showed up about? Get them on the command ship, now! Hold on back there! Uh, okay. Gonna just drop me off right on a Cabal command ship, huh? <laughs> that, that's the plan? I mean, I've done some crazy shit Destiny 1, so I guess it's not, uh... Do something. Unheard of. Was she, like, asking if the trailer is gonna, like, do anything? It is, it is curious that the traveler is just kind of dormant through all, all right, this. Guardian. Time to kick him where it hurts. Oh yeah, I'll do that. You got it. Um, I want to just check some other stuff out real quick. Uh, first off, let's swap that out for the grenade launcher, see how that thing works. Um, and then we're going to check the details on this. So, uh, when taking arc damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Kills extended time in this overcharged state. Sweet. Um... Airhead break, extend mag, uh, superconductor, when our conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. Okay, so that's what was going on. Um, sweet. And yeah, I was just get constantly getting hit with arc damage weapons, so I, I always had uh, this arc conductor active, and it was just feeding ammo back into my clip. So that was sweet. Um, there's another thing, like on regular weapons, they got uh, mods here. Um, so they got the legendary infusion, uh, which I'm assuming is like the infusion from the last game, where uh, you could like basically shove one gun into another gun and it would raise the uh, attack value on, on on the second gun, the one that got the other gun shoved into it. Uh, and you could do that with armor too, where you could shove other bits of armor into the armor that you want and then it makes the armor better. Um, uh, whether or not that's going to work the same, I don't know. Uh, apparently we also got some shaders that we can toss on there. Um, but it looks like we got all of these slots down here, uh, for what? I don't know. I'm assuming that's going to be like the mods, what the mods are actually going to do or how they're going to work. I don't know. Um, let's, uh, let's see. We got an extended mag, drop magazine, magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition greatly increases reload speed. No, that sucks. Uh, okay, let's see, steady hand, that's uh, better, uh. let's get the steady hand, um, and then we got explosive payload, okay, so that's also nice, uh, what, what is it, what, this, yeah, okay, that didn't have any other options for it, um, Ooh, okay. So this actually has a solar damage mod on it. So that makes it seem like you can actually mod it for different types of damage, which is cool. Uh, I like that. Um, volatile launch weapon is optimized for specially explosive payload. Weapons launch parameters are particularly stable. Okay. So we get a slightly smaller blast radius, slightly reduced velocity, but the stability and the handling go way up. I don't think that's going to be a huge issue with a grenade launcher, though. Um, mini frags. Grenades are smaller and more compact for easier reloading. Thermoplastic grenades. Grenades fired from this weapon bounce further. 
Okay, so the reload speed drops, but we get a boost to a lot of other things. Um, let's do that, and then pulse monitor automatically reloads a portion of the magazine when wielder is critically wounded. Okay. Uh, what do we got on all this? Can we change anything on this? Mobility enhancement. Oh, what is this? Empty socket. Armor mod. Okay, so. That's an actual slot for a modification. So I'm curious what all of this down here is then going to be for. Uh, mobile Warlock Armor. Additional mobility at the cost of resilience. Okay. Increased mobility, increased health recovery. Hmm. Um. Let's get the health recovery. I feel like that's a bit more important to me than the mobility. Uh, sorry if this is incredibly boring to you. I don't care. <laughs> uh, this also has the mobility. Uh, this gives me resilience, which I want. want resilience. Take less damage that way. Uh, it's also mobile. Uh, it's got the health recovery. Uh, mobile. Increased resilience. Give me the resilience, please. Was that this? That I just did? No, that has nothing on it. Okay. What about in here? What about in this Dawn Blade? Oh, that's a cool looking picture. Like it. I like it. Okay, engage your enemies mid flight, fire weapons, and throw grenades while gliding. Oh, I like that. Airborne kills, recharge your grenade, and melee en energy casting daybreak instantly refills all your ability energy. Cool. Icarus dash, press uh, double B in midair to dodge. Ooh, I need to try that out. Strike an enemy with melee ability to burn your target and temporarily increase your movement and reload speed. Okay, can I actually switch out the grenades? So yeah, it's a solar grenade. Firebolt, um, and then a fusion. Hmm. Hmm, let's switch to the firebolt right now, see how that goes. Okay, so we got a healing rift and empowering rift. Okay, so that increases weapon damage and this uh, heals. I think I'll stick with the healing. Uh, strafe glide. Strong directional control. Burst glide. Strong initial burst of speed. Balanced. Uh, let's swap for the balanced. A little bit extra speed is good. Um, okay, so we got more down here, but these need upgrade points. Uh, so I, I, something tells me we won't actually get to check any of these out. Um, because there's probably not going to be any upgrade points in beta. So we'll probably have to wait for the full release to really get the full idea of the subclasses. Okay. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys. Whoop. Oh, that has got a very large radius. That is nice. That hologram could help. Let me take a look. I I feel like that has a much larger radius than um similar grenades from the first game. Uh so that's cool. Um We'll, we'll see whether or not uh, they feel that's overpowered or not. Hi. Boom. Uh, where are you? There you are. Yeah, I'm liking the machine, the, the, the sub-machine gun. Ooh, that's a big guy. You got a yellow health bar too. Let's try out the grenade launcher. Kaboom! Oh, that is nice. Oh, I'm out already. Whoa, dude, Jesus. Okay. Take your grenade. Okay, your your tank takes a lot of damage. Good to know. 
Bye. Sounds like the Vanguard's having a hard time. I'm sure everybody's having a hard time. This kind of sucks. Uh, Cabal just decided to invade, and I'm surprised that it's uh, taken this long for any of the uh, enemy factions to invade. Whoa! I did not just jump. Something hit me. <laughs> Uh, I'm running low on ammo for this. I'm gonna have to switch to the primary again, or the kinetic, as it is in this game. I'm gonna get that mixed up. I'm gonna call it primary a lot. Whoa, what's up? Let's drop that. I need the healing. Okay. God damn. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, that's nice. Where are you? There you are. Boom. Oh, there's a big guy. Skunk. Oh, that missed. Fuck. Can't afford to miss like that. Can you land again, please? Ow. There we go. Grenade. Oh, he just got out of that. Ooh, that's gonna take a while. Um, oh, I did. I did get more submachine gun ammo. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Let's do this. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Now let's not die to all these other guys. Oh, God. I love that. Love this submachine gun. That's so nice. All the arc damage just flying all over the place. I love it. I love it. Ugh. Oh, it's kind of a bummer that... Ooh, okay. Oop. That uh, I can't like keep this stuff for the full game people down here too Did that kill anybody? Now they're dead. I think it got one of the dudes that was down there. The grenade, that is. I obviously got the other two. Sweet, the dude blew up his friend. Um, where am I going? Oh, am I actually going down here? Okay. Oh, hi. Bye. Ow. God damn. Guess I was a bit too close when he exploded. Oh, what's up? Ow. Hit a lot of people for me. I think I did. 
I still don't have any ammo for that. Oh shit. Okay. That was that turned into a bad situation, but that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Ugh. Ah, you're still here. Yeah, you got an arc shield, so that just went away r immediately. Oh, come on. And pop! Where are you at? Bye. Okay, is this the shield generator? It looks big and important. Destroy the turbines. The shield should fizzle. Okay. Uh Yes. Got okay, like cool. Mm, and over there. Okay, that's burning me. Get off of it. Okay. Heat levels rising. It's working. Oh, I can't quite get up that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. I'm in a really awkward situation. Huh. Shit. Oh, uh, it's yeah, it's uh it's a bit awkward to get out of. And this burns you. Uh. And those things just one shot you. So cool. Sweet. Zavala, we did it. The shields are down. Zavala? How do I get out of here? Over there. Make it. Yeah. Amanda, we're headed topside. Amanda. People aren't doing so hot. Feel like we can. We just, you know, kill things. That's, to that's what we do. We just kill uh, all, all of you. I mean, by the end of this, you're probably all gonna be dead. Just gonna say that now. Oh shit. Guardian, something's wrong. That's not good. His main. Okay, Dick. You are weak, undisciplined, cowering behind walls. You're not brave. You've merely forgotten the fear of death. Allow me to reacquaint you. Wow. It's quite the backhand you got there. Oh no, ghost. It was nice. It's nice. It's kind of nice to see that they kept Nolan North for the ghost this time around. Okay, so big bad asshole. Destiny too. All right. So yeah, that's, uh, that, that's I guess that's the first mission from the full game. Um, I I doubt a lot of that will be changing um, 
just like the structure of it. I doubt any of that will be changing between this and the full game. Um, so I guess we'll we'll see. Uh, whoa, look at that ship. That is a crazy looking ship. Um, I guess we'll see like how the guns, if, if they go through any changes and um, any of the abilities, if they if they get changed at all, any any tweaks here and there uh, from this to the full game. But for now, I'm going to leave this exceptionally long episode here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like. If you're feeling generous, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.